So I got a special treat for you today. You may have seen me visit Volta, makers of the Pier 3 system, a couple weeks back as we visited Holland after Warsaw and Paris. Today I'm changing hats. I'm taking off my cowboy hat and I am putting on my Volta hat because I got a couple of special guests. Wait till you guys see this. So joining me today in Lily is two really cool people. I want to introduce you to Jack and Dan. These are from the uh, these guys are from the Volta team. Uh, Buck couldn't join us today, whom uh, we met with uh, up in Holland. But the reason we are in Lily is because we are at the Winnebago's 50th edition of the Grand National Rally. Volta made some really big announcements uh, to the Winnie Bees group, which is all the Travado Class Bees crazies. Love them. <laughs> um, a couple of days ago, but they are good enough to give us a few minutes of their time today to tell you about, uh, what, three, four? Four. Four really cool announcements. So, um, so Jack, maybe just introduce uh, who you are, and we'll do that real quick for Dan, and then kind of get into some of the announcements, because it was pretty cool stuff. Okay. Thanks for having us. Um, Jack Johnson, Volta Power Systems. Uh, I'm one of the original founders and engineers at Volta Power Systems. And... Uh, you want to talk to Dan yeah, next, Yeah, say right? hi, Dan. I'm Dan Morrison from a company called Collective Idea, but we're working closely with Volta on their new stuff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. A little primer there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, Jack, tell us about the, the enhancements. Um, I was really excited to hear them a couple days ago when he announced them, so this is kind of maybe the YouTube exclusive uh, uh, announcement here. But, uh, but yeah, tell, me, tell us about them. Sure. Well, we've, we've uh, made three announcements on enhancements. So, you know, the product's been out, what, uh, a little over a year now? And we've been listening to our users, and a few things have improved. We've developed uh, an improved control on our solar controllers. So you get a higher output and more performance, and that's a software change. And uh, the customers are going to be getting letters soon when they can come in and get a um, new controller um, free of charge. They just got to schedule it with their dealer, and they'll be able to replace that. Wow. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, you'll be able to make a lot more energy uh, off your solar than you, you've had previously. Uh, we've got a new uh, enhanced version of the alternator control box. We've had some uh, electrical things we still haven't found from um, some of the units not working or charging from electrical noise, and we've filtered that. So anybody who needs a new <laughs> alternator controller, take care of that. Because who doesn't like some electrical noise? Yes, electrical noise <sighs> is not fun. All this. Uh, is that called rock and roll? I don't know. Electrical noise? Is that electrons have got to go where they're supposed to go. <laughs> when they go the wrong way, there's a problem. We got some noise, electrons. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, and then we announced, um, uh, we've added on our website the for sale, um, the addition some accessories. Hmm. So now you can go to our website, and for those that want to do four-season camping, one of the things that uh, uh, we've offered are heater, pack, or heater kits. So now you can add heat. A uh, conductive heating pad that'll mm. run through the inverter or from shore power to keep your pack warm. So those are in colder climates. They want to heat the pack up a lot quicker if they're not been using it. This is an option for those customers, and they can get it off of our website. And then we have one big more announcement, and I'll let let Dan tell you what's going on. Yeah, and then let's get a, a few tidbits on on those things you mentioned because I had a couple of questions. But but the yeah, the icing on the cake, uh, boys and girls, is yeah, sure. So we've made it really easy to. See so your state of charge of your Volta power system here, but um, we've developed a little app so you can actually get all the data <sighs> right that. there and see live uh, power usage, also graphs of recent usage. Uh, try to tell you everything that's going on with the pack so you really know how to use it, how much power you're going to get off, and how much runtime you have. Uh, we're really, really excited to roll it out. That's really cool because, as we know, our phones are the remote control of our lives and. Who doesn't like more information on our phones? Apparently, the green, big green button wasn't. Um... Yeah, we designed it to be really simple. So we did a bunch Which of market like. data, market survey, and it was all about, okay, customers want you know this stuff scary, it's complex, it's new. Make it really, really simple. So we tried to do everything one button touch, everything's good. But what once the product got in the field, everybody's want to know more and more information. Why is it doing this? Why is it doing that? And we actually making it too simple cause some confusion for folks hmm. so we we heard that and we worked for the last seven months now on creating a bluetooth unit bluetooth module which you'll be able to order all gls and kls can be retrofitted, retrofitted with this it's a very really simple nice. addition um, the hardware will be for purchase but the app will be for free 
um, and it'll give you all these new capabilities. A lot of the question, how long will I run? Well, what do you got running? And it'll tell you instantaneously. It'll, it, what's my temperature? Why am I not charging? It'll tell you it's cold. And then it'll help you with frequently asked questions, help you through some basics, um, all those things you've heard, you know, some of your viewers are asked, well, why right. does it do this? Or when right. does it do that? All that is now available through Bluetooth from your phone. That's really amazing. <laughs> <laughs> What's uh, unique this about, is... this is monitoring when it's for the data coming right from the BEMU, from the battery pack, the battery management unit. Mm. Um, all that data that's being processed is now being uh, broadcast to the phone. And that's a little different because it's kind of like looking at an engine running. You, you have a lot more data than traditionally available in most other systems. Mm, it's fantastic. So let's talk about a couple uh, things. I'm super curious. I get asked all the time about solar. So we have a solar 200 watts on the roof and um, it really didn't impact the, the, the battery system because it was so big. So how is this um, solar improvement enhancement? What does that do for me when I'm running my inverter, for example? So when you're running an inverter, that background load when you're not running anything, when it's just sitting there idling, um, it'll, it'll cover that. So traditionally where a lot of users that just left it on and it's sitting there idling away waiting for you to just instantly flick a switch or start whatever, that, that consumed energy and that we call background load. Now that now with 200 watts of solar, that's enough to cover the background load and now you'll see that you're not dropping. Actually adding a little bit maybe. And, and maybe adding a little bit. Um, still there's like there's several groups been testing and planning and other people have been adding more capacity and there's and you know I think there's one post that just came out there put two extra panels on it and they're actually running stuff and and climbing. Oh so. that's cool so solar all of a sudden is relevant more than it had been before that's really cool um, you had mentioned solar um, the heater pads. heater pads so tell us about the um, temperature range because we've had Lily in a pretty cold environment mm -hmm. but you're talking like really cold environments right for heater yeah pads. so right now the way the system's designed is you use forced air so your furnace is on um, and it's got a fan and that fan that's being triggered is actually coming from our battery packs and hey you're getting low in temperature it's time to warm me up and the way this was designed was hey you got you're living in it suck warm air from up the cabin and keep that area uh, warm well a lot of users might cook it in their garage and they haven't been in it and they want to jump in and go right well, the only way to do that is I got to fire it up and it'll take a long time to heat this up. Well, this will be a 100 watt pad. You can plug it in at the, um, your house and it'll warm up the pack for you without having the furnace on. It'll warm it up a lot faster. Oh, and it'll work in, in congruency okay. with right. the current system. Sure. So if it get cold, it'll warm up a lot faster yeah. than before. And I've kind of experienced that myself, so that would be nice to have. And that uh, can be added on afterwards. Yep. Um, comes with uh, all the controls you need, the directions. Um, warn everybody now, the KL is really easy. The GL, <laughs> it takes a little more you know, fanciness. <laughs> but all the directions are there, pictures there. Um, but you might want to have the GLs done by a professional because you might not want to yeah, just crawl around. Yeah, I'm not a DIY guy. So, yeah. um, so that's an extra cost, uh, whereas the solar is Free. a no charge upgrade. Yep. Uh, what's the... The other one is the alternator control box. Uh, it's the controller. So what does that do? So there is a... a a way that when the battery pack needs a charge, we'll tell the unit when to turn on. And when we don't need a charge, we'll turn it off. Because you don't want the alternator to run all the time because you know you just want to charge it up. And if you've driven it, ever driven it, you notice that, hey, I charge up, and then you ever notice it drifts down mm -hmm. a little bit, then charges up back in. Mm -hmm. that's, your, that's the battery system telling the alternator, hey, you don't need to run right now. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of an advantage because you don't need to run it all the time. Where traditional right. alternators will wear out a little faster because they're always on. And here you turn them off, cool them down. Well, the control system that was turning it on and off um, due to what's called electrical noise, but basically it's like something gets going down the line, it's not supposed to, and goes whack, <laughs> and it was hurting something. Uh, we found it on, a, on just some builds, and we started replacing them and said, well, what the heck, we don't need to have people have problems, we'll just, if you want a new one, you can get a new one with the, a newer controller, it's a little more robust. That's great. So the solar controllers, uh, no charge enhancement, the um, Alternator is a no charge enhancement, and the gauge. Yeah, you want the uh, the Bluetooth module to the gauge, which is an easy install. Mm -hmm. um, that's that's available for pre order pre order right now on the Volta website, and then the app will be available free of charge. Yeah, it's super easy install. So it's a DIY thing. It's, so even somebody oh, like me, as a Phillips screwdriver, can figure it you out. You take you take the gauge, 
it, it comes off there's a and there's a connector it comes off you put the y in you put this on and you slide it back in it's super, super easy. simple mm -hmm. um and i've heard one of the benefits is that the gauge will actually read 100 percent now not the 80 percent, even though it's full is that yeah true? so um we're engineers i'm an engineer so what we did <laughs> so we made our gauges accurate right so our but what happened was everybody got confused well why is it going to 100 well it's full because you want to leave a little extra in the in the tank, use 80 right? Of what's in there, so and so right. we, we, you know, we had it accurate. Well, that caused. I was like, oh yeah, engineers, you yeah, know, we're weird. And we're other people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so we learned. We're like, okay, so we scaled it so it goes zero to hundred. Um, and and in the newer ones, they also do some of the things. They'll give you feedback. It'll flash blue if it's too cold oh. to charge, and then it'll flash orange if it's too warm to charge. So it's giving you some central visual feedback when you go, hey, I'm not charging. What's going? It, it, the, the gauge itself with the firmware update, but that's that uh, that's coming on the new Travados um, to get them. You know, we did a few here. Mm -hmm. If they're around us, our group, we including can do Lily. That. What's that? Uh. <laughs> Lily got an upgrade. Lily got an upgrade. <laughs> Super cool. So those upgrades are available through your dealer or the DIY on the gauge. If they want the warming packs, it's either DIY or install through a dealer, and the app is coming later this year mm -hmm. um, to get more information on this where should they go see a dealer see Winnebago so Ascot. they're gonna get they're gonna get a letter so don't call your dealer and anybody until they get a letter they'll be in the letter in the mail we're tracking everybody's um, serial numbers on their vehicles and we don't want you know when the parts are available then you'll be able to contact your dealer and schedule the plan because uh, um, of course there's not a lot of these out here so we're gonna bring parts together and then cycle them through yeah. to customers um, because part of availability, we don't want everybody going at the same time. Right, that makes sense. Kind of stage it a little bit. Yeah. Um, and uh, what is what the app, Dan? Should we know? Besides, I'm super excited. You know, I think it's really going to answer a lot of questions for people. Yeah. Um, even just showing it to a couple of customers here, um, and we installed it in a few other vehicles just to test it out and answer questions for people. You know, people don't really know how much energy they're hot water uses if it's on electric or they don't know how much their AC uses and being able to see that in real time on a graph turning on a bunch of things turning on your lights and saying oh that barely moves the needle at all turning on AC and seeing a big spike okay now you're gonna start to see a uh, runtime and think about what actually affects that battery yeah. usage um, so it's more resource aware yeah. than yeah. you and you have more visibility into that which yeah. is the stuff cool. I'm really excited about too is any if there's anything wrong too hot too cold uh, we got some really great alerts for you. Hopefully, you never see them though. So. Yeah. <laughs> they look cool. They tell you what's going on, so you go, "Hey, this is okay. I, like that. I know that's how to handle it." Um, well, that's really great. Well, I know you guys are super busy replacing gauges and, and such uh, today, and uh, just really uh, want to thank uh, Jack and Dan and and Buck, who's not here, and the whole Volta team. I think we're just really kind of getting things kicked off on um, you know just sharing this information and. Uh, Jack did a great presentation today on, on kind of what is lithium, what isn't lithium, and the whole mechanics around an advanced energy system. Yeah. Yeah. And so maybe we'll get these guys so to, to, to share some of that. I don't know. <laughs> I'll call the experts. Because <laughs> uh, it's just so great. And um, just the passionate group of, of uh, Travado owners that are really early adopters of the Volta system is just really it's awesome. a really a passionate group. And these guys, as you know, growing like crazy, four times the, the manufacturing capacity. So, Dan, thank you. Thank you. Dan, thank you. Jack, thank you. You're welcome. So that will make it a wrap at GNR Special Announcement. enjoyed that video uh, the Volta team has just been super uh, approachable and really helpful and uh, I'm really looking forward to working further with these guys uh, and gals on the Volta team so a couple things just to remind you so the heating pad accessory kit uh, is coming soon uh, through Volta it's a DIY install or you can have your dealer do it I think it's $185 the Bluetooth module which plugs into your SOC gauge uh, also is a DIY module, uh, $289. Um, the solar controller upgrade and the alternator controller upgrade, those are at no charge to the customer and uh, wait for a letter with Volta. 
uh, to show you and tell you what to do next. Uh, the gauge that we talked about, the SOC gauge, uh, those are not available. They are being installed on the new Travados coming out with the uh, Volta Energy System. A few of us, including Lily, that attended GNR got uh, new gauges, and uh, that's what we were talking about there. So you don't have to get a new gauge to get the Bluetooth and app, uh, but you do need a new gauge if you want that additional functionality of having a, the percentage go all the way to 100 or 0. We don't want to see 0. Um, and then flash uh, blue for it's too cold to charge or orange if it's too hot to charge. So do you need a physical new gauge? Those are not part of this program. Um, good reason to go to GNR next year, right? 55th and 51st anniversary, because um, some of the, the uh, manufacturers like Volta do some of these special things for uh, for customers. So, um, so let me show you this. You guys this were good enough to give me a new gauge. Um, this is actually I did not know this. This is actually a sticker, and it is largely irrelevant now because it goes beyond the capacity here. Look at this. Is that cool? <sighs> So now I have a naked gauge that actually changes color as things uh, progress, and uh, we like green. Green is good. Uh, so now, now I got to find a place for this. Uh, hmm, maybe right here. So if you got something out of that, uh, we sure appreciate a like. That's a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, leave a comment. What 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 questions do you have? I want to get the Volta team back on on the channel soon. Uh, so lay out some questions and maybe we'll do a, a live uh, YouTube feed. That's something we talked about at the um, uh, Grand National Rally. Um, as always, I uh, thank you for being out there. Um, it's because of you, literally, uh, that I get access to these people. And uh, just, again, the whole thing is about learn and then share is my whole thing these days. So, uh, again, thank you for pushing me. And um, thank you, thank you, thank you for being out there. really do appreciate it. So, so, uh, and so until we see you again on the next video, I wish you to journey on.